Ms. Redslaff, you, uh, have I got that name right? Yeah, you have. Thank you. You, uh, in, in testimony, in response to Ms. Norton's question mm -hmm. about how could you go from, you know, $13.73, whatever it was for a pill, to 750 in your new company, and you've had a hell of a first year as a company, just model for everyone. Um, let me ask you a question, um, a corny question. In your company, in Turing, mm -hmm. did the public interest ever come up in terms of by jacking up the price? We really could affect access. We could have unintended consequence on people's health, especially since the sacred trust we've got is a drug no one else produces. It's the only drug for this condition that exists on the planet, and we just bought it. We control it, and we've just increased the price 5,000 percent. Was there any discussion at the corporate level about the morality, the ethics of that in terms of impact on people's health and lives? So as I said in my testimony, I was comfortable with that price increase, first because of the company's commitment to invest generously in patient access programs. Those are important. We didn't want the price increase uh, to, to uh, uh, dis disadvantage patients in any way. And second, uh, the company's commitment to reinvest into research and development. And I will just say that there we believe uh, that there is a need for a new and better treatment for toxoplasmosis. Would you agree, whatever your motivation and your altruistic instincts, that from a public relations point of view didn't work out so well? We had challenges from a public relations point of view, and I believe it's because there was a lot of misinformation, and there continues to be a lot of misinformation out there. Well, I, I would suggest to you, uh, and I know he's no longer your CEO, but when you have an individual behave the way Mr. Screlly did when he was CEO, and in a public appearance today, and in his tweets, he has put a pretty ugly face uh, in front of the public in terms of the industry, um, its motivation, its profit motivation, its concern for patients, um, any sense of ethical responsibility. And I would echo what Mr. Lynch said. It has unfairly damaged a whole industry because of the practice of one CEO at one company. And I, I just think I would hope it would cause a very profound reexamination about the practice of jacking up prices the way Turing did with this one. Can you provide the committee with a list of these basic research efforts that this revenue is financing? I believe we can. I'm not involved in the day-to-day -day, uh, operations of research and development, but I can certainly check no, but it's with your our president of research No, but it's your testimony on behalf of your company that that's what you're doing with this revenue. That's and that correct. was the rationale or part of the rationale for jumping the price up 5,000 percent. Yes, I believe we provided the committee with our research and development spend. Is that correct? Well, I, I'm being a little more specific. Okay. In answer to Ms. Norton's question, I would like to see that correlation. I'd like to see where that revenue is, in fact, going in term, from this increase. Yep. Because that was your testimony, that it's, it's funding other good things. And that the only correct. way, presumably, we can do that is this $5,000 uh, price increase.